Georgia was one of the most corrupt countries in 2002-2003. Transparency International did this uh, survey. The question was asked only one to, I think, nationals of 80 different countries. Have you or a member of your family paid bribe in the past 12 months? So only 3% of Georgia said yes, which I st still think is high. EU outrage was 4%. Uh, United States is 4%. Only countries that be did better than Georgia were Nordic countries, Netherlands, Belgium, South Korea, um, Singapore, New Zealand. Georgia right now is one of the most transparent, corruption-free countries in the world. And that to compare with situation 2000, in 2003, when Georgia was one of the most, most corrupt countries. Just give you some figures. We had major blackouts. We didn't have energy security whatsoever in Georgia. Most of the winter, population would get through without electricity supply. But because of eradicating corruption from energy sector, right now we are not only energy sufficient, we are exporters of electricity to all neighboring countries. In April 2004, we fired every single traffic policeman in Georgia. All of them, all 18,000 of them. And traffic was much better without traffic policemen than it was with traffic policemen. We got away with it. Not only got away with it, it was the most um, successful reform that we have done. Right now, police of Georgia, in Georgia has a job approval rate of 98%. We decreased the number of employees in, in, in government entities, but we increased salaries significantly, and we introduced bonus system. They have KPIs, key performance criteria, identifications, and every quarter we go through the KPIs and I give bonuses. So it's, it's a private sector type of model where we tell people that if you, if you do your job well, you'll get rewarded for it. But if you get dirty in corruption scheme, you will go to prison. I think the most important thing about fighting corruption is, is having very clear rules of the game. And everyone knows that if you don't follow these rules of the game, doesn't matter who you are, you will be punished. For that you need very clean head of state who has political will to fight corruption, who has capable team to do that, and who has very big support from population to do that. And that's what happened in Georgia.